Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to do a scale exercise, and just like all scale drills go, we go ascending and descending. Basically, oh no, why did I do that? I did the forbidden scale C major, so we'll try and edit that out of the video. Sorry. Uh, E flat major is what we are going to take for this lesson, and what we'll do is instead of just going ascending and descending, we'll do something interesting harmonically and interesting for the bass, and also something interesting for you to uh, understand slash chords to a point that we are going to play the major scale ascending and descending with only three chords. So remember, in a scale like E flat major, you would have E flat major, F minor, G minor, A flat major, B flat major, C minor, and D diminished. These are your seven chords. But I am just going to pick three of them, which is the tonic or the one major, the subdominant or predominant, which is the four major, A flat major. And the dominant chord, the five, which is the B flat major. So, E flat major, A flat major, and B flat major. What is E flat major in a nutshell? It is a three flat scale, namely E flat, A flat, and B flat. E, e flat replaces the E, A flat tends to replace the A, and B flat tends to replace the B. So it's a three flat scale. Check it out. We have the notes written for you. You can get it on our Patreon page uh, for just five five dollars a month. So do consider that at some point. And now that you know the three chords of uh, E flat major, we should figure out the inversions as well. So I would encourage you to get your pianos out, get a notebook out. Also keep my notes ready if you've got a copy, and play along with me and stick around till the very end. Everything I do, you can pause the video and play along because this is a very technical drill okay so first thing we are going to do is build all the inversions look of these targeted three chords and then we'll actually look at a very interesting scale drill which at the end of the video will sound very musical so stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking so first of all let's look at all of our chosen chords e flat major a flat major and B flat major. Let's look at all the inversions of these chords. There are three inversions for a triad. You have root position with the root in the bottom position, first inversion with the root in the top position, second inversion with the root in the center. And let's look at it for A flat, A flat major, A flat, C, E flat. So root position, first inversion, second inversion and finally b flat major b flat major root position first inversion d f b flat second inversion f b flat d so these are your shapes three shapes and while you practice the inversions of these three chords you can look at e flat if you play e flat in the bottom we now look at this as traditional good old e flat major so if you change the bass to G, it's no longer going to behave like a tonic chord. A tonic chord will sound stable. It behaves more like a unstable, like a dominant or a, it's wanting to go somewhere else. In fact, it wants to go to the four chord. Even though the four chord wants to go to the one chord, the one chord with a different bass note tends to want to go to the four chord. So I would advise you to take slash chords very seriously, especially if you're in a band with a bass player or if you work a lot with choir musicians or orchestras. So E flat will have three root possibilities or three bass possibilities. You could look at E flat with E flat in the bass, that's traditional E flat. E flat with G in the bass, that will be E flat slash G. And E flat with B flat in the bass, that will be E flat slash B flat, which tends to like to resolve to the dominant chord. La, da, da, da. La, that's the bass. I'd also encourage you to sing these bass notes as you play the chord. So E flat with E flat in the bass. 
then you do e flat with g in the bass then you do e flat with b flat in the bass so e flat with e flat in the bass e flat with g in the bass e flat with b flat in the bass same story with a flat a flat major a flat slash c and then a flat slash e flat then you have your b flat b flat slash b flat or just b flat b flat slash d b flat slash f so these are your three chords those are slash chords we've also looked at inversions now coming to the drill so first off let's make it about the right hand and the upper note of each chord remember i said this was a scale drill so it's going to move like but it's going to sound very chordal or very harmonic in nature right or a bit more like a hymn in a church so to speak so what you want to do is focus on the top note and reinvert your chord and your chord choices would be only between the one chord the four chord and the five chord that's e flat major a flat major and b flat major so you have e flat and you ask yourself which of the one four and five chords have e flat in them that would be the four chord that's a flat that would be the one chord so i'm going to just pick the one chord but i'll have to reinvert it to put e flat or to push or promote e flat up top so i'll have to play it as g b flat e flat which is the first inversion right roots on the top so that's your first chord now i want to go to the f which of the three chords has uh, f in them the answer if you check the chart will just be b flat isn't it b flat major so sa re 1 2 in terms of degrees sa re sa re now i want to go to the g or the 3 sa re g sa re g which of the 1 4 and 5 chords have g in them well you could argue g minor but that's not what we are here to do it's just those three chords so I'll have to replay the tonic. So, sa re ga. Now I could do sa with an E flat chord or sa with an A flat chord. So that's my choice. So, sa re ga, sa re ga. You see the scale or the melody going up, ascending still amidst all this. And you can make it a bit more obvious by doing an arpeggio, which starts on the top note. flat b flat e flat let's journey forward to do a flat now what is contained in a flat a flat major seems obvious any other chord no not really so sa re ga ma so let's just do those four sa re ga ma ga re sa sa is the 1 degree re is the 2 ga is the 3 and ma is the 4 pa is the 5 da is the 6 and 7 is the ni that's what we say in my part of the world so if you're confused it's just a word it's just a syllable given to the note or the interval so you go sa re ga ma one more time sa re and my bass my left hand is playing the root i like to just say true root of the chord no slash chords where if it's e flat major you'll be looking there and thinking oh g seems like the root no e flat is the root sa re that's the b flat g e flat ma a flat so even though you're climbing in the right your you're kind of hopping between the e flat a flat b flat e flat a flat b flat e flat you're going to hop, hop between the roots of the uh, three chords sa re ga ma ga re sa 
sa again sa re ga ma ga re sa repeat sa or maybe sa a flat sa re ga ma ga re sa now let's continue you got the drill so far so sa re f on top g ga on top ma now pa now for pa i have two choices i can do my tonic which is e flat now you could play e flat like this with the index starting or with the thumb pa or if you like you can play a do, a, a dominant chord which is b flat so sa re ga ma pa or pa 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 again sa re ga ma pa two options are there then dha which is c i'd like to think a flat works and a flat that's the only chord which has c in it so far in our set of 3 no dha and you have to do it in second inversion dha now ni you're doing b flat major which has the ni in it it's a dominant chord and you're doing it in the second inversion so dha ni sa and you end where you started dha ni sa repeat dha ni sa okay so whole story sa re ascending re ga ma pa maybe b flat pa da e flat ni sa now why don't we drop sa ni da pa ma e flat ga ji re sa is just the usual scale exercise like i said you can make it interesting with arpeggios sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni ga pa ma ga play the roots in the left hand now if you want to get this to be uh, turbo boosted in the left hand you can probably play the same thing as your right hand you can just carbon copy it maybe arpeggiate the right and block the left so i i like to go a bit higher to explore different pitch ranges sa re ga so i'm blocking in the left hand but doing the ditto of the right hand isn't it sa i can play it close down ani da pa ma ga re sa repeat ga re ga ma pa ga ni sa ga ni da pa ma ga re sa so you get this sort of motion so it, it can be used even while playing melodies if you think about it if you play a melody in the right hand without any ornamentation or without any support it'll tend to sound you're never going to defeat a violin player or a saxophone player or a singer you know so you have to beef up the melody with something and the best thing is the chord sa re ga re sa sa ma ga re so you could kind of build a melody with your voice and your voice is singing something sa ma ga re and your piano also does sa ma ga re but with chords sa ma ga re re ga re sa 
So try to align the the piano shapes like the melody note is there probably with the pinky or the ring finger and then the other fingers will play the remaining supporting notes which are inverted they are inversions of the chord so this is a serious inversion workout but we we won't have time to go beyond this so i will just i gave you a hint to say that you can play pretty much any melody using this technique and piano needs the melody notes to be strengthened and you know with a lot more color so what better way than to do it with a chord than you know the the slides and all those uh, appoggiaturas and turns instead of all that you can just do a chord anyway so now i'd like to conclude the lesson by doing my ascending and descending also with the left hand using slash chords so i'll play it for you and then teach it so sa re ga ma look at the left hand climbing sa ni da pa ma ga re sa so this is going to be a bit of a flip because i want the left to now go the scale in fact you can treat it as a left hand e flat major scale practice if you want to and while you're doing this you're supporting each of those notes with a with a chord so let's go through the chords e flat now you can play any e flat in the right hand i don't care enough of the right hand it's become boring let's go to the actual hand the left hand so e flat now the next note is f what chord will work it will be the same old b flat but b flat forward slash f sa re that's a slash chord very interesting sound sa re ga ga that's the bass ga ma even though my right hand is is now given up those inversions i'm just doing inversions to make sure i don't move my chords that much so see So my focus is the left. Sa re ga ma pa da ni sa down. Sa ni seven da six pa five ma four. Still the same old triads: E flat major, A flat major, and B flat. Lots you can do with just these three chords. And then make it a bit interesting. So. the bass so you're creating a chord progression instantly sa ga ma pa sa ga supporting with a chord in the right hand tum chum pum 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 a flat pum pum can build a bass line as you have awareness of the bass register uh, while you can build a melody line when you have awareness of the soprano or the high register so in a nutshell we've taken the scale e flat major rather tricky scale for some of us who are not used to it so i thought i'll 
introduce that to some of you who have not played that that often. But we've just taken our study to three chords, E flat, A flat, B flat, the one, the four and the five. Figured out the inversions, uh, understood slash chords. First of all, it became a right hand drill where the right hand just did our usual uh, arohan, avarohan, going up and down the scale, but with some colorful chords. Left hand started by playing the true roots. And then the left hand did its own climb with slash chords. everyone thanks for watching the video as always this is jason zach from nathaniel school of music you can get the handwritten notes on our patreon if you want to learn more detailed topics like chord inversions we leave you a playlist in the description and a few more chord climbing and chord awareness exercises which will be waiting for you in the description don't forget to watch that at the end of the lesson and you can also learn something a bit more structured at our school by choosing a, a, a regular six month semester at a skill level which you might fit into right i look forward to catching you soon thanks a ton for watching the video cheers